Okay, so um, now we do have the uh, Flex 1500 actually connected, and we're going to go ahead and open um, Power SDR, which of course I could do with the touch screen. There. And, um, hmm, it's actually connected now to the 1500. So let's go ahead and start it. Yeah. So apparently it's uh, set up on a broadcast station. Well, let's go over to uh, 40 meters. Move the frequency. Oh, that's a problem. With this. CW part. Easier to use a stylus with some of these. Switch over to a CW mode, and uh, I'll go ahead and get it in a pass band. Sounds like there's a little breaking up of the, uh, just a tiny bit of breaking up of the uh, audio, possibly because I have the uh, the Wi-Fi turned on. Let's see if I disable that. Okay, the Wi-Fi is now off. Still, there's a little bit of uh, breaking up of the audio. The way I'm running this is uh, running it through VAC. <coughs> Let's show you. It's running through VAC turned on and the VAC is enabled and it's uh, directing the uh, audio output to the uh, Microsoft sound mapper so it's going out through the speakers. And uh, the input apparently should be coming through the microphone as well. So I should be able to use the built-in microphone in the uh, tablet. And uh, why don't we just go ahead and give that a try. So uh, let me go back to the phone part of the band. And um, actually, let's go, let's go up to uh, 20 meters. Okay, this time of night, we're probably not going to be heard anywhere because the band is closed. So I'm going to do a little test transmission. 
Okay, so I'll turn the volume down. Turn the volume down a little bit. Uh, we're on 20 meters right now, and uh, the band is dead, so um, no propagation around. We can do a little test here on this frequency. It shouldn't cause any problem. Um, we're running the uh, ASUS. It's the uh, EEPCT101MT, and it's running uh, uh, Power SDR. 2.2.3 under Windows 7 Starter. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do a test uh, transmission here on voice. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, activate the MOX. Right there, we're activating the MOX. Now you see the amount of latency there. Of there. It's about like five seconds or more. It's about like five seconds or more. And uh, I'm set the meter to. Um, and uh, I set the meter to. Uh, um, to read the microphone level, and uh, at this distance, about two feet away. Um, um, to read the microphone level, and uh, at this distance, about two feet away. We're kicking up to um, about minus six dBs, maybe on peaks. We're kicking up to about minus six dBs, maybe on peaks. And you saw there was a quick, there was a, a momentary freeze there. And you saw there was a quick. There was a, a momentary freeze there. Okay, so I'm going to um, look, show you the CPU usage. Okay, so I'm going to um, look, show you the CPU usage. And that's at 35 percent. This is Kilo Papa for my Delta testing, and I am now going to uh, switch over to receive. There. Um, so the latency is uh, is pretty bad. Okay, for uh, for voice, you can make a transmission, and uh, it well, it's going to take about five seconds before it even gets out on the air after you say it. So uh, unless you're doing a really long rag chew with very long transmissions and not quick back and forth transmissions, uh, that that could be a problem, especially during contests, for example. Um, so that's a uh, demonstration of using the uh, the Flex 1500 on uh, the ASUS uh, touch tablet.